Okay, so hi there folks for another video on number theory. And here we're, we are just done with our linear combination video, the main uh, video on linear combination. And we have proved there that the GCD of any positive A and B is a linear combination of A and B. So now we're going to proceed to an example of the theorem. Okay, so again, the theorem states that um, by Euler, the GCD, the positive, the GCD of positive A and B is a linear combination of A and B. So as an example, we say um, express the GCD of 28 and 12 as a linear combination of 8, 28 and 12. So the solution for the solution of this solution. So we will notice first, okay, um, notice that the GCD of 28 and 12, what is the GCD of 28 and 12? Um, if you want, we can get the um, same old, same old. This 12 is 4 times 3. That's 2 times 2 times 3. Um, 28 is 2 times 14. 14 is 2 times 7. So 7 is a prime number. So we can see here that the common numbers is 2 and 2. So therefore, we can say that the LCD, or the greatest common divisor, GCF, is 4. So since that is 2 times 2. Therefore, the GCD of... 28 and 12 is 4. GCD of 28 and 12 is 4. So this is equal to 4. Okay. Okay. So again, the GCD of 28 and 12 as a linear, um, 28 and 12 is 4. Okay. So that is right. That's 4. So next, we need to find, uh, first, next is, we need to find integers integers uh, alpha and beta uh, such that beta um, alpha times 28 plus beta times 12 it's going to give us 4. So what are the numbers? Uh, what are the values of alpha and beta? Okay. That will give us 4. What do you think? Okay. So let's do this by trial and error. So we want to have the 4. And notice that 4 is positive. So, and we see that 12 times 2 is going to give us 24. 28 minus the 24 is going to give us 4. So therefore, our beta must be negative. Let's have alpha is equal to minus 1, beta is equal to 2, to make a 12, and it should be negative so that we can we can um, deduct it. So we see by using um, alpha equals positive, oh no, positive 1, not really negative 1, positive 1. For alpha equals 1 and beta beta equals minus 2, what we have is um, 1 times 28 plus minus 2 times 12, which is going to give us 28 minus 24, which is equal to 4. So this works. Okay, so these are the solutions. So our alpha is equal to positive 1. Our beta is equal to minus 2. So, yeah, it's a com linear combination of the GCD of 28 and 12. is a linear combination of 28 and 12. Okay, now let's proceed to one uh, theorem that we will be showing um, now. So, this theorem will show us something about the relatively primes. So, what does the theorem state? So, let's write it there formally. So, theorem... And we'll, we'll be proving this after. So two positive integers a and b. Okay. So for all a and b to be positive integers or natural numbers, um, they are okay. They are okay. Relatively prime. Okay. So for all a and b and positive integers, they are relatively prime if and only if, let's make use of this, if and only if, 
Okay. There are integers. Okay. There are integers. There are integers. Alpha and beta. Uh, such that alpha A plus beta B equals 1. Okay. So again, um, two positive integers, A and B, are relatively prime. Okay. If and only if they're integers alpha and beta, such that A alpha times A plus beta times B is equal to 1. So let's give a proof for this theorem. A proof. Okay, so we say first that if A and B are relatively prime, relatively prime, so then um, the GCD, okay, the GCD of A and B is equal to 1. Okay, and then therefore we say um, by um, the theorem above the, the the video before. So shall we say we haven't named the theorem? So shall we say by theorem by Euler, which was presented before? Oh, there's a lot of of theorems written by Euler. This there was there's a lot of theorems written by Euler. Um, but um, by th this theorem, we'll tackle about the one before that we have talked about um, in the previous video. By theorem, by Euler abo above, um, there are integers alpha and beta. Alpha and beta uh, such that alpha A plus beta B equals 1. Okay, that's the first part. Okay, conversely, okay, conversely, uh, suppose alpha A plus beta B is equal to 1. Okay, so we first demonstrate that um, the GCD of A and B is equal to 1. Okay, we need to show this. So by letting D equals the GCD of A and B. Okay, then we therefore say that D divides alpha A plus beta B. This is from the theorem. Okay, this is from the theorem um, 3. Okay, this is from by theorem 3. Okay, by theorem 3. Okay, this is by theorem 3. Uh, if you can, if you saw our videos, so um, you will know what theorem 3 is. That is, um, D is a linear combination. Um, this is divisible by the linear combination of A and B. So therefore, by this, we say that S, that S, we say that um, D divides 1. So since D divides 1, so therefore there's no number that can be a factor of 1 except itself. Okay, so D okay, is equal to 1. Okay, thus um, A and B are relatively prime. Okay. That's it. So since it's, a, it's an if and only if, so this is, um, let me put this, um, this is the, the first proof. Um, how can I write? Yeah, I have a space. So this is the, this proof. This one is the converse proof. Okay. So since it's, a, it's an only if and only if statement, so you know the drill and how to prove that. Okay. So that's it. Um, that's the proof for our theorem uh, for all integers, for all positive integers, they are relatively prime. If and only if there is there are integers alpha and beta such that alpha A plus beta B is equal to 1. 
So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you will like and subscribe and see you soon. Okay, thank you very much.